Notice that we're only getting 164 TDP in a time spy test when we should be getting 175. The CPU is only pulling 44 watts and the GPU boost clock, I think, could go to 20. 150, 2200 right here if, the, if we were getting 175 uh, watts. And so the lack of wattage here is, I'm not saying it's crippling the 5090, but it's, it's holding it back. And it's probably reducing the performance on the 5090 by maybe five to 7%, five to 8%, somewhere in that range. Okay, so we're doing around 145 right now. 140, 145, bouncing around there, and about 1800 boost clock. We go to activate dynamic boost, and boom, jumps up to 160. There's our out of the box, level one, no overclocking on the GPU, and no undervolting on the CPU time spy score, 24,682. So the 4090 is currently doing about 220 FPS, um, 206. The 5090 is crushing it at 270, 280 FPS. We've got much better 1% lows as well. Notice that the frame time graph in the 5090 is completely rock solid with no stutters. Uh, we have very similar wattage, both doing 150 and very similar CPU power pull, 273 versus 212. And we ended up with a 1% low that was far better clear lead for the RTX 5090 right out of the gate. We got 115 FPS on the 4090, 130 FPS on the 5090. Now, notice our 4090 is doing 175 often, or at least it was, and our 5090 is only doing 152. So there's about a 15 to 20 watt gap between the 5090 and the 4090 in this run for run test. Just notice that we're, we're peaking 175 and we're almost never going below 170. We have 17 more FPS on the 5090, but just imagine what we would get if we were running 20 extra watts through our GPU. It's like we're limping right now with the 5090 in my opinion. 4090 is flying, like it's going at the proper wattage. So this is same settings, but with DLSS frame gen on 4X instead of 2X. And I know that AI frames, frame generation frames, are fake frames, they're not real, and they're not the same visual quality as natively generated frames. But when you have a high enough base frame rate, it's close enough in my opinion, and it does improve the visual smoothness of gaming. And you're not playing a competitive shooter like Counter-Strike, I'd probably play with 4X frame gen in a lot of the games. So you're looking at 235 FPS, uh, of course factoring in the fake frames, which is not quite double what the 4090 got, but it's a significant improvement. Still an advantage for the 5090, 132 FPS versus 120, and our GPU wattage is consistently like 15 watts lower. Okay, so, we ended up with 137 versus 123, a 14 FPS improvement for the 5090 in God of War. 1% lows, pretty dang significant improvement. I'm glad we're getting some improvement. Now just imagine what 175 FPS would look like on the 5090. Probably at least 145 to 150 FPS, probably. Over 100 on the 4090, and only 85 on the 5090. And I mean, look at the wattage pull. The, the wattage pull on the CPU and GPU, it's, it's ridiculously low. Um, the 4090 is doing, let's just pause it here. We're looking at the same area of the map in the same spot, roughly. All right, 105 FPS on average. Our GPU boost clock is 2,500, only 71% GPU utilization on the 4090. The GPU utilization on the 5090 is only 60% right here, 60%. That's not very good. Um, and then our boost clock, 1700 on the 5090, 2500 on the 4090. What, what the heck? Um, then on top of that, 
our CPU draw power is only uh, is 86 watts on the 4090 and only 45 watts, 47 watts on the, the 5090's Intel 275HX. I think the CPU not pulling enough watts is part of the problem here in Hogwarts because this is a very CPU bound area of the game and if you don't have good enough CPU performance it's also going to impair your GPU wattage pull and your GPU performance because we are clearly more CPU bound right now in Hogwarts on the Intel 275HX than we are on the 14900HX and I have reported this to Intel through my connections at Intel and hopefully they can work with a company like XMG to get the wattage pull properly running because right now we're looking at look at 93 watts on the i9 and the 275HX only 50 watts like what's going on like that's not good that's bad and uh, this might be something that XMG with their BIOS updates can help tweak and improve because it seems like the CPU is not being prioritized enough in this CPU bound game scenario. But now let's go ahead and do our actual side by side and get our, our technical results, right? So here we go. We're running up the same area at the same time after having pre-ran through the area to load in the assets. Um, some pretty gnarly stutters on the 4090 variant. Maybe a little bit more stable in terms of stuttering on the 5090. But the average FPS is way, way worse. All right, so we're gonna run to the table, stop. And now we're doing 74.22 versus 104.15. So yeah, the 5090 with the CPU bound area of this game is clearly suffering big time. I mean, it's still playable. Don't get me wrong, it's still playable, but it is, it is, um, very disappointing to see such a reduction in performance. So we're doing about 10 more FPS in this one spot, but just looking at our raw information, right? We're looking at 157 watts through the GPU versus 175, so about 18 watts less going through 15 to 18 less, wa uh, less watts going through the 5090. And just looking at the wattage, CPU is pulling all, only about 50 to 55 watts versus the 100 on the i9. And wow, we are basically GPU bound on both systems, but the Intel is running at half the wattage now. So that shows the 275HX being much, much more power efficient, um, comparatively speaking. All right, so. 135 FPS for the 5090 versus 125 for the 4090. So the 5090, again, still winning while using a lower power limit on both the CPU and the GPU. It's, it's nice to see that, but I want to see 175 watts on that 5090. You know, I want to see the full performance. Uh, 135 average FPS versus 124. Our 1% low is also better on the 5090 at 106 versus 88. So the CPU is doing a great job. Now this is gonna be like a part one because I'm probably gonna to have to redo this test once Nvidia and Intel fix the performance on this machine. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you in the next one. Brandon out.